Welcome to Elmaven Tutorials. Today I am going to walk you through the unlabeled LCMS workflow for Elmaven. For this, you must have your files in mzxml or .mzml formats. If you do not have so, you can use msconvert to convert your files to the desired format. To start, you should launch the Elmaven application. You can adjust the global settings by accessing the options dialog. You can read about all these dialogs at the GitHub wiki of Elmaven. Once you are done adjusting your settings, you can load samples by clicking on the open dialog. You can select all the samples that you want to process and they will appear in the sample space. You can also load a project by going to file and clicking on load samples project speaks. This will allow you to upload any MZ role projects that you might have processed earlier. Once you are done, you should load a compound database. Some preloaded compound databases are present, which you can also use. Otherwise, you can upload one by selecting a .ckcv or tab file. This is a sample compound database. It has compound formula ID, RT, and category columns. You can mark some of your samples blank by selecting them. You can also select multiple samples and click on this icon to set them as blanks. This will mark them in black color so it's easier to differentiate from your other samples. You can perform alignment to correct for the RT drift across your samples. Alignment shifts the peak retention times in every sample to correct for this drift and brings the peaks closer to median RTs of the group. Consider this group. You can see that the peaks are dispersed over a broad range of RTs. When I perform alignment, you can see that these peaks are now closer to the, the median retention time. The alignment visualization here helps you assess the retention time drifts in each of the peaks in this group. Once that is done, you can also adjust for grouping by going to the options dialog. You can also perform baseline correction. You can also see the mass spectra of each of the groups by clicking on show spectra widget over here. The spectra displays each peak, its mass and its intensity for a particular scan. You can adjust the PPM values and grouping for this. It's especially useful for MSMS workflows. Once this is done, you can start curating your peaks. There are two ways to curate your peaks in this workflow. The first is called manual curation. In this workflow, you can browse on your peaks by uh, going through each of the metabolites in the in this compound window when you click on a particular metabolite a group for a good group for this peak will be shown El Maven displays the group with highest intensity and good quality for a particular metabolite you can mark these samples as good or bad according to your judgment by using this button you can mark a group as bad you should enable auto save to save this data in a bookmark table and a m0 project which you can also access later on go through each of these metabolites and keep marking your samples as good or bad you can also use keyboard shortcuts G and B 
for marking your peaks as good and bad respectively. The other way to curate your peaks is called automatic curation. For this, you can go to the peaks widget over here and select one of these two settings. The first setting does not use the compound database. When you check this, a maven will perform untargeted peak detection for you. For this demo, I am going to perform a targeted peak detection. So a maven uses the RT information in the compound list to annotate my metabolites. Since my data is unlabeled, I have not checked the report isotopic peaks. Once I have adjusted all the parameters, I can click on find peaks and Ilmaven will make a peak table. You can look at this peak table here. Ilmaven has detected for me around 33 metabolites. I can go over each one of them and mark them as good or bad. Once I am done curating my data, there are multiple options for me to export the marked peak data. I can generate a PDF report with all the peaks and groups. I can generate a CSV file, a JSON file, and so on. I'll create a CSV for this demo. I can either export all the selected groups, all the good groups, all the bad groups, or every metabolite group that has been detected in peak table one. I can select a desired format and save my file. Once you are done processing, you can exit the application. Hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.